Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today I thought I'd do an unboxing video and talk about the British Earth Army figures from Warlock Games. So I picked up a few sprues a couple of weeks ago to paint up and see how I liked them. I did some Perry miniatures and some Warlord Games miniatures compared which ones I liked. I preferred the Warlord ones. I'm going to do another video about painting them. I'm going to do a step-by-step -step painting guide and a comparison with the Perry miniatures. But anyway, I picked up the starter box for it. Now, I didn't need the extra infantry. I already have a platoon of helmeted infantry painted. So the infantry in this are actually going to become Indians. But I'll show you that in uh, Sikh Indians. Uh, but I'll show you that when we look at the sprues. So it's the first time I'd got a, a bolt action starter army. So I thought, yeah, I'd do an unboxing and talk about what you can do with it. So as it says on the on the side there, this box set gives you all you need to start playing with the forces of the British Commonwealth in the scorched and dust-filled desert of North Africa and beyond. Beyond a strong core of infantry support teams and ubiquitous brain carrier transports, this set's perfect for replaying legendary battles such as El Alamein and Tobruk. Will your desert rats prevail against combined fascist forces of Italy and Germany? So you're going to get 36 8th Army Infantry, uh, 8th Army 6-pounder, 8th Army 25-pounder, 8th Army Vickers Gun, 3-inch uh, mortar team, and 2 brain carriers. So, in case you've not seen the sprues before, these are your, your sprues. So most notable thing, they actually do two sets of sprues for 8th Army, sort of desert rats. So this one here, which has got uh, Scottish bonnets, Indian heads, Sikh heads, and helmeted heads. And the other one has Australian heads, pith helmets, uh, long range desert heads, and a couple of other different types of heads. You get six bodies on the sprue. Plenty of rifles to give everybody that needs rifles, rifles, uh, anti-tank rifle, a couple of sandbags, stuff to do an uh, officer, Bren, Bren gun, which is uh, one carried and one so you can fire laid down prone position. There's a wee mortar as well. And you see the mortar ammunition there. A few picks and stuff and a couple of submachine guns. So all in all, Sprue pretty much does everything you need the 8th Army to do. Now let's have a look at these brain guns, carrier sprues. So I'll get these painted up. Looking fairly simple. So the kit for it, they're actually based for Europe. Not a lot of parts there to go together, but it does say you're going to get some metal parts. Two of those. I should probably jump on. I do have some painted versions of the infantry. Here's one with, with one of the Scottish hats on. You've got your uniform guide. Assembly guide. Showing off all the wee bits you need. So what have I got here? So this is I'm showing this off, it's just kind of look like bits of metal. The machine gun it looks fairly easy to assemble. Your base is already fully assembled, just pop the Barrels on, three crew. Next up we've got, this is the Desert Rat Universal Carrier crew. In shorts and t-shirts. Uh, not t-shirts, so short sleeve jackets. Oh, we've got radio, a radio operator there as well. Quite interesting is British uniforms in the desert short sleeves and shorts the troops didn't get any specific sun cream so you basically just like to build up a suntan and get on with it now if you did end up sunburned 
uh, you were potentially put on a charge for that. So it's always interested me why the British Army insisted on uh, short sleeves and shorts when you see the Axis forces wearing long sleeve shirts and trousers to cut down on sunburn. So that's your mortar there. I didn't know if these heads would be separate as part of the Warlord head swap system. They're not. So, like I say, I'm planning on doing the infantry in this box as seek. So, we'll get. Um, we will get helmeted support weapons. And this is the six pounder anti tank gun. Now, what's interesting about this box set is you've got two artillery piece options. You've got the uh, six pounder anti tank gun, uh, and I won't get this out, but you do have a 25 pounder as well. It's pretty cool um, when it deploys, deploys on this turntable so it can spin around easily and pick up targets. You might have seen there was a 25 pound uh, in my pictures from Eden Army Camp that I shared you the other week. So normally you cannot field two artillery pieces in the same generic platoon. But also picked up Western Desert. And in this there is a British Commonwealth Army List. Commonwealth Infantry Brigade. And a special rule, sound of the guns, a field artillery option is chosen by this platoon. may also select an additional £25 light howitzer, which is not free, so you've got to pay the points for it. But uh, yeah, so get my £25, I get my £6 anti-tank gun, plus an infantry force. What I'm going to be aiming for with my first battles I do is going to be stuff based around the Battle of the Snipe, which was... I think it was during El Alamein. Rifles Brigade set up with anti-tank guns in a defensive position and uh, blunted a massive attack from uh, German tanks. Other stuff you get in the box. Brain carrier info cards. Uh, transfer sheets for the tanks. Pack by instructions for the brain carrier as well. Dead simple. So what do you, what can you do with the contents of the box? It comes to about 850 points, which are worked out uh, with three regular rifle platoons. Uh, I think I made the anti-tank gun officer. You've got a free artillery spot, which I made up out of this, or will be making up out of this. The other thing I looked at for this is, because I'm going to be using seek rules, the Western Desert has some rules in for different um, different Commonwealth troops and the Indian national characteristic unsurpassed bravery and the manpower of the Empire to represent the vast manpower available from the Indian subcontinent the Indian force Indian force gets a free 10-man regular infantry section early war armed with rifles any additional equipment for this section may be purchased as normal so that's basically 100 points, 10 regular infantry. So that would, if I was going to do this as Sikhs, uh, which was planning to do it, then I would be on 750 points. So throw in a tank, throw in a couple of extra, a tank and maybe an extra squad, and that would be a nice 1,000 point force. So anyway, that's my look at the bot action starter force. Oh yeah, the, the brain guns, brain carriers, sorry. Uh, can be used to transport the artillery. Like I say the pictures from the 25 pounder in the Eden Army camp actually has a brain carrier for transporting it. Uh, the other option you can do is throw some small platoon, eh, platoons, small squads into it and have them run around as a wee fire team as well. I actually have a small SAS squad, five man squad tooled up for that as well if I wanted to. But anyway, I'll let you know how it gets on. I am going to do a, a painting video looking at how to paint how to paint quick and easy 8th Army troops. In fact, if we, as, just like that with some of my new technology. So 
that's been my first look at our unboxing of bolt action starter army and i look forward to getting some stuff done in the desert i hope you're having a great day wargaming and i'll catch you later goodbye